Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlogs. We are currently in Phnom Penh in Cambodia and today I think we're gonna to go to the Royal Palace. We might not, we're gonna see, but we're gonna go out exploring anyway. So welcome, let's get going exploring. Okay, so we're outside. First things first is to get Jeremy some food. So I had a bowl of seals this morning, Jeremy had a banana this morning. And then just now before we left, I had some red pepper, carrot, avocado, tomato and cucumber. So I've eaten, so we just need to get Jeremy something and then we'll be heading to the palace. So this is the street we're currently walking down. We're gonna go to the street that we walked down yesterday, I think, to try and find Jeremy some food. This is the hairdressers. So these are the restaurants that we're looking at. There's these kind of ones on the street. So Jeremy just got to decide which one he wants to go to. So this is where Jeremy's gonna eat. He's gonna get some chicken and rice. Okay, so we found somewhere. Jeremy got some rice with two bits of chicken and whatever this is. Bon appetit. Okay, so we have arrived at the Royal Palace. Whoa. <laughs> which is where we're going to go and have a look around. Apparently it's open from something like 8am until 10. 10 and then 2 till 5. So it's just gone about quarter past or 20 past 2. So it should be allowed in. We're just not sure where the entrance is. But this is the park. We came here last night and you can probably see as well. And then the water is over there. So the plan was to go to the Royal Palace. But it turns out once we got there, we realised there's people selling masks and you have to have a mask to get in there so rather than buying one from someone we're just going to come back another day and take our masks that we've already got so we're not being wasteful also there was people wearing like having to put towels around them and jeremy's wearing shorts so i think we'll come back and he can have his trousers where he can like put on his trouser legs if that makes sense anyway so we've come down to a different park all of the information by the way that i talk about everywhere that we visit will be in the description box you can go and find that down below if you want to kind of see exactly where we're going if you're coming to this part of town but we're going to come to, well, we've come to a park where the statues. We're also going to go to a different temple and other things. So a bit of confusion this morning, but we do have a plan now. So I just thought I would show you and kind of tell you what's going on a little bit. So I thought this was a temple because it looks like one. And Jeremy's just looked online and apparently it's the Supreme Court. So that's super interesting. And then we've come to this park and there's a statue down here and there's a few things we're going to go and visit so i will leave the park information in the description box like i said so i have just looked on google and we are in what bottom park which i find funny because i'm a child i'm sorry but it is um but i just thought i would tell you and show you obviously like i said the information will be down in the description box but i thought i would show you what what bottom park looks like <laughs> So this is Wat Bottom Park and this is Bottom Fountain. Now obviously it's not on at the moment but this is what it looks like and then there's some big buildings back there. There's these beautiful ones here. I'm not sure if they are temples or something but there's some Buddha here and this Bodhi tree and if you want to read more information you can pause the video so you can read about that. But apparently this place behind is a temple and it says it's open on Google Maps. So we're going to have a look, even though the doors are closed, it doesn't look very open to me, but we'll see if we can get in and explore. Okay, so this door is open, so we're going to have a look inside. Wow, there's so many of these, isn't there? Okay, let's go in this way first. Is that a Buddha with no arms? No, I've not seen that one before. If you know what that means, let me know in the description or in the comments. There's a little puppy. Hey, Butch. Hey, it's okay, don't miss you. Hey, oh, puppy. Yeah. yeah. You got a wow. Me, Look at this. This is so cool. Yeah, it's very different to Vietnam. It's like a bell shape. Yeah. So just so you can see the size of these, I just asked Jeremy to go and stand next to it. So you can see they are huge. I think they look smaller on camera than what they actually are. So I've just noticed that the Buddhas, or I'm not sure what they are, are all facing inwards. 
because usually they're facing outwards like that. Whereas on these, they're facing inwards and praying in towards the, the bell shape, I guess. So that's interesting. I'll have to do some Googling. Look at this one. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. The detail is crazy. So this one has a date 2008, so it's not super old, which surprised me a little bit. I love the colour of this one, this like peach and gold. It looks so different on my phone. I'm not sure if that's going to look the same as what it actually looks like. And then this. Oh my goodness. Look at the doors as well. I wonder what's inside. I've got so many questions. So we think they might be gravestones or like memorial things because like I said, there's dates, there's also doors, that door's open. I can't see inside. Yeah, there's dates, so like 1921 to 2004, so that sounds like a gravestone. Yeah, 1940, 2022, this one. There's two on the side. Okay, when I die, I want one of these. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? So I've also realised that they all have a little window, you can see that one, you can see that one, you can see that one with maybe a Buddha inside. So, so cool. Jeremy said as well it's like a forest of monuments. This one has got four people because it seems like that might be the names and then the dates of four different people and again these are praying inwards which I find interesting but I love these like red and gold ones oh my goodness so we can't go in here because it seems to be closed with this gate but I'm still exploring I don't think I'll go much further down there because it looks maybe like private property, I'm not sure. So we're still exploring the same section and we've come across this where on this side it seems like they're smiling but they're holding this big snake with seven heads again so really I'm going to have to google that today. And then this side they look a bit more evil I would say, they look a bit more angry but then they're still holding the snake with seven heads. Although, do the snakes look the same? Are they dragons? I'm really not sure. But I thought I would show you that because I think it's really cool. And there's a gold Buddha this side and then a stone one that side. And there's also these female statues. There's that one. And then there's these two here as well. I photographed the two on that side that were the same. And then there's this. Wow. So incredible and I'm gonna have a sneaky peek inside if I'm allowed. I'm gonna take my sandals off. Oh my god. Okay and then this side. Wow. Look at this. Oh I love the painting of the forest behind. How stunning. There's like a waterfall there. There's a tiger or something there. Oh, and the ceiling. Oh my goodness, the ceiling. I'm bending like all the way back now to show you this. And if you look as well, this is the sleeping Buddha. And then there's the praying Buddha up there and all the Buddhas around it. Oh my goodness. 
How incredible is that? And it's a shame that light is kind of ruining this picture because it's, no, that helps a little bit. It's stunning. And the whole ceiling is decorated. Again, these lights are kind of ruining it a little bit, but. Like, how gorgeous is that? He turned the lights on to help us so we could see better. <laughs> Incredible. outside of that incredible hall space we were just in with the decorated ceiling and the huge Buddha so if you're ever in Phnom Penh I highly recommend coming here so beautiful right we are still exploring I love finding little things like this that you're just not planning on visiting and then it just you spend hours here looking around it's so incredible so Jeremy just took a photo of me next to this one I'll put it on screen so you can see because it's absolutely huge so this must have been an important person I think there's one more here I want to look at and then we'll probably leave this little section let's have a look at this one oh I love it it's so big We did some clothes washing yesterday, which was most of my underwear, including all of my little white socks. So I couldn't wear my Converse or my trainers, so I'm wearing flip-flops and my feet are getting destroyed because I've worn them yesterday as well. I can wear them to like go to the beach or something like that, but for like a day walking around, my feet get destroyed. So we've gone, well I've gone barefoot and Jane was like, oh we're going barefoot, fine I'll do that, because in Miami he never wore shoes. So he's happy to not be wearing shoes, <laughs> but that was funny. Anyway, we are now at the statue or monument, I guess, of the Wat Bottom Park, which I love the name of. So this is the monument that's in Wat Bottom Park, and it says it's basically um, about the Cambodia-Vietnam Friendship Monument was built as a testimonial gratitude for and in memory of the sacrifice of Cambodian people in the cause of Vietnam's territorial unification during the 60s and 70s and the sacrifice of Vietnamese army and people in the liberation of Cambodian people from the genocidal, I don't know how you say that word, regime of democratic Kampuchea in the 70s and 80s. I'm trying to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, but it's basically a friendship between Vietnam and Cambodia people, basically, and armies. This is the monument from just a little bit further away. That you can see there. two fountain dragons there's four dragons with probably seven heads again five heads this time five heads each I think and this is the view there's also a photo like a gold framed photograph of someone down there not sure who that is it seems to go quite far back there's this huge building um, yeah so it's not on again so I can't really show you it on and then we're going to head down there in a second and see the memorial thing up there. So there's also this lotus fountain, which again isn't on, which is a shame, but we're going to keep walking. I feel like those hippie travellers that you see that don't wear shoes and they're all like, peace out, dude. But it's literally just because my feet are getting destroyed with blisters. Jeremy's one of those travellers, aren't you? Yes. You're, you don't wear shoes but I prefer to wear shoes. It's just that my feet are getting wrecked. Yeah, I need to give you a haircut soon. Just trim it a little bit. So we're now walking down the park to this statue. I'm not sure if you can actually see, but there's a statue. Let me see if I can show you. There's a statue first, and then there's the monument thing at the back. So it's all kind of in one big line, which is really nice. And then the park is really big as well, so there's like traffic either side. But there's this huge green space, which I think is lovely. And here's this side. Right. 
let's go and see who this is and what it says. So the lighting is terrible because it's just kind of a grey day. But this is the statue. I'm going to leave it on screen because I'm not going to try and pretend to say his name and pretend to know what I'm talking about. But it seems like it's the king. It says his majesty. It also says father of independence. So that's really cool. Okay, and now we are walking towards the independence monument, which we actually drove past when we arrived in Cambodia and when we arrived here in Phnom Penh. So it's nice to actually get to see it a little bit closer. I'm not sure we're going to be able to cross the roundabout to get to it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to. No, okay. So we'll see it from a distance. But there's more of those snake heads. I don't know if you're going to see because the lighting is terrible, like I said, but I really need to Google that snake head thing. But this is the monument of independence, which is cool. There's more temples there, it looks like, as well. saw this tree and I was like oh my god look at these flowers I don't think I've ever seen this before and it kind of I'm gonna try and show you this with one hand but it kind of opens who knows what this is you guys are so good at letting me know there's been a few things that I've not known and people let me know so what is this flower it's so pretty and it smells incredible as well okay so the last stop today in terms of like tourist stops is Wat Lang Ka, I think it's called, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's open, so let's have a look inside. I love the blue and green either side, that's so interesting. These seem to be more, um, sub, what do you call them? These seem to be more gravestone type things. Again with the door, again with the plaque and again with the little window as well. And there's this building. That building, I love that roof, but this one in particular is wow. So you can see all the ones I just walked past and I showed you and these have got almost like is it a lion is it a dragon something like that facing outwards almost to protect whoever is inside or whatever is inside and then there's these ones that are praying inside you've still got the windows and all the details and different colors and things and then this one is so ornate to have like columns at the front it's all this like pattern this flower pattern design. There's even a little balcony up there. So impressive and so beautiful. And this one's got almost birds. I don't know what, what these are, birds or dragons or something on the outside. Wow, that one's silver. This one's gold and black. They're just so beautiful. So just another look at these. And then there's Jeremy standing. Can you stand actually next to it? Standing next to it. Just to show you size reference. It goes all the way up there. So they're huge.
we're still in this section and there's a sign here saying that there's meditations on Monday, Thursday, Saturday, 6 till 7 p.m. or Sunday mornings. So I think we might come, probably not tonight because I think we'll have walked enough, but maybe another night and come and meditate from 6 till 7. I think that'd be so, such an experience and something that I think we'd probably enjoy. Anyway, we've now come to this section. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to be here, but We'll see. It's a shame that one's closed because I think that would be incredible inside. I think that's like the main one, but... So this is the main building from the side. It's so beautiful, the colours and things. And then there's more of these kind of memorial things. And then there's building work over there. So if we do come for meditation, I hope they're not drilling the whole time because that will really put me off. This is so cool. So we decided to get a tuck tuck because my feet are hurting. I can't walk with my flip flops and then the bottom of my feet were hurting and my back was hurting. So we paid about two dollars for him to drive us about ten minutes basically. Um, in a tuck tuck which is exciting for me. Jeremy's not happy because he didn't want to do it, but I was in pain, so I'm gonna enjoy the journey. Okay, so we came back home when I was vlogging in the tuk-tuk. We then went upstairs for a quick swim. I'm gonna pop some videos on the side of me jumping in and being silly and trying to get some cute footage of me wearing my swimsuit. And then we came back. I've been watching the Davina McCall um, podcast episode on the Diary of a CEO with Stephen Bartlett. Really enjoying it so far, I'm about halfway through. I've also been getting some work done, but we're now gonna go out and get Jeremy some food and then he's gonna eat out and I'm still gonna have pasta and sauce because I'm still trying to sort my tummy out. So we're gonna go out and I thought I would kind of show you that and see what he ends up eating for dinner because it has been quite fun so far. So let's go outside. Okay, so we've come back to this place which Jeremy came to the other day. I think I'm gonna get a sausage to go with my um, pasta, which would be good. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribe and let me know in the comments section where you are from in the world. I would love to get to know you more. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.